Hello and welcome back. My name is Amuli and you are watching Tier Mint. This is a series of Learn Django 3 by building a blogging application. And in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how you can use static files in Django 3. So I'll tell you how you can use the bootstrap how you can add bootstrap to Django 3 project so there are two ways to add bootstrap the one number one is you can use CDN the other one is you can use source file bootstrap source file and add it to your Django framework okay and so what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to combine everything and put in one folder called static so in previous video in the very first video we used media uh, settings here at the bottom that you can find on this static files documentation but in this video just for the requirement so that we don't you know create many folder and mess up the application and make it a little bit complicated so what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to going to make it pretty easy to manage everything like images javascript and css files as well so let's get to this application and there are a few changes that i've made basically so the very first change that you can see I've deleted that media folder from this base the root uh, project folder and I've uh, made a little bit of change in the models file as well so you can see we were uploading the images to media uh, images to media slash images folder now we are going to put static as well so change it to static slash images slash and save it that's the very first change that i've made to this application then we will go ahead and make change in the settings.py so go to projects folder whatever the name of the project is and then go to settings now here i've deleted those media url and media root now i've created static files directory and this is how you have to do it so it's very easy and simple it's given on this uh, static files documentation you simply have to copy it from here static files directory and paste it over here make sure you delete those uh, the second value in this uh, list now here we have a static root which is very simple so os.path.join and in brackets we are going to keep this a page dir and then name it static files so that's what the change i've made to this static.py once you've done it go ahead and log into your admin page here admin page and go ahead and click change for the article and re-upload the images okay so go ahead and re-upload the images save it for all the uh, articles and once you're done go ahead and check if you're getting all the images so you will not get all the images over here now there are a few changes in the rendering as well that we need to do so go to templates dot uh, slash index uh, very first thing you have to do is load static okay in the base dot html so go ahead and load static once it's loaded go to index dot html here we do not require the static load static method we are just going to remove that url however if you put url it's still going to work so that won't make any difference but just to let you know that you can just type 
image as well and you don't need to type that URL okay now once it's done go to single and here the static is going to be used so we already have loaded this static in the base.html go to single and then we may need to make change here so before we were just using this one image dot single dot image and we were able to load it the image were being loaded now if you go ahead and do that it's not going to load so if i say here single dot image it's not going to load it will give some error so if you it's it won't load it you can see it here what's happening is trying to load the image from this directory you can see it here so it goes to if you can see here it goes to this particular id directory the id of the article so 8000 slash one slash and then static image and the name of the file so to fix it we have to use this uh, static url loader so simply go ahead and put static url and then type a slash and then try to load the object the image object okay so that is going to work now just refresh it and you are able to load the image this time now it's going to load from the static folder not from the id of the post or article so that's how you can fix this after making change in the image folder location now that's been fixed now let's go ahead and try to uh, add bootstrap in django framework in application so there are two ways you can start using bootstrap if you go ahead and have a look at here in the base dir i'm trying to load this if i go ahead and just comment it you will see okay so that's the basically without the bootstrap styling so you can see I'll, I'll show you how you can add bootstrap to this project so there are two ways you can go ahead and download the source code so go to get bootstrap I'll go to this uh, home page so what happened here we go now if you just go ahead and click on download or get started you'll get two options okay so basically three options this is the compiled one and this is a source folder files and then you've got CDN so the easiest way go ahead and copy the CDN and put here in the base DIR like that so that's the CSS part go ahead and copy the uh, JavaScript for and put at the bottom make sure you put it in the base dot uh, HTML and now you can start using the uh, what do you call it? bootstrap okay so that's the first way to st start using bootstrap in your project okay if you want to keep things local so go ahead and delete them delete them back to basics now go ahead and download this compiled CSS and JavaScript and I'm going to save in the static folder of this project so go to the project and then go to static and go ahead and save in here once it's saved go ahead and open show in the folder go ahead and unzip it so no matter where you are 
I'm pretty sure you know how to extract zip folder go ahead and extract it and this is how I can extract it on my system now what we need to do I can go ahead and just delete it and this is going to be renamed you can see in here we have CSS and JavaScript I can simply go ahead and rename it so I've just renamed it it to dist let me just delete this one and show you you can name it whatever you want but I've, what I've done here I've named it dist so within this dist folder we've got CSS so all the CSS that is uh, basically with the compiled version of CSS and JavaScript so now that's done what we can go ahead and do so make sure in the base uh, directory you've got this load static this is basically a function and then what you need to do go ahead and say static and here you have to give the location of the uh, file so we don't need to say static we simply have to say the folder name the dist and then trailing folder and the file so I can simply say dist CSS I can go ahead and take this uh, min so I'm going to copy it so that I don't make any spelling mistake and similarly you can go ahead and load all the images so if I go ahead and try to refresh my page hopefully it's going to work you can see it's loaded this bootstrap now similarly I can go ahead and load the JavaScript as well so to do so I simply have to type script src and here I simply have to say static and then give the location of this min dot js I'm going to just copy the file name and here I'm going to say uh, what I can do I can just copy this one and change the location and the file so this is going to be JS this is also going to be JS okay so now you can see everything is working fine if I go ahead and inspect these URLs so you can see I'm loading this uh, bootstrap min.css and yeah bootstrap min.js okay so this is how basically you can start using bootstrap in Django framework and this is how you start managing everything in one folder static folder so I've got everything in static folder now I've got images in static I've got CSS and JavaScript in static if I have any static CSS like any custom CSS or custom JavaScript I can create another folder here uh, just say custom and here you can say let's say I'm going to create uh, style custom.css now I can say body just to demonstrate it background color is going to be orange and I'm going to add it to the base.html and this is going to be in custom 
sorry yeah custom folder it's is it okay so it's under static so it's going to be custom slash custom dot css hopefully it's going to work okay so now it's working so that is how you start using bootstrap custom css and javascript and images all together in one folder and that make managing files static files images javascript and css easy in django Three. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave in the comment below and I will try to answer it ASAP. Thank you again and have a good day. Bye for now.